Hey guys, what's up? Just want to do a quick walk around of Mason's YJ project. You've seen him in some videos previously. Mason is finally swapping out his front rear axles for some Dana 44s. He's keeping the same 33s he had. It's a two and a half inch Rubicon Express lift. It's all spring under. Just got the axles in this last weekend. The front is out of a 70s Wagoneer. Still have to do some odds and ends on the front end to get it all the way together. He's got 427 gears and a Detroit locker, so he's finally going to have a locker. That's going to be incredible. The tie rod, the drag link is longer than the factory YJ tie rod, so that will be a better setup than he had before. So that's nice. And manual unlocking hubs, and that'll get rid of the CAD that the Dana 30 had, so he's going to be freewheeling on the front. It's all six lug. What he decided to do, he was going to do at 8.8, .8, but after talking about it for months, we uh, found that Isuzu's, the Isuzu Rodeos, they had six lug Dana 44 rear axles. And in some certain year models, I think 96, 95, 96, they had factory 430 gear ratios already installed with a limited slip. So the rear axle, Mason grabbed out of a yard to Dana 44 out of a rodeo. The spring perches were already in place for the YJ Springs. The spring under, they were in the right location, amazingly. Rear disc brakes, six lug, None of the track bar brackets and other junk that the stock YJ axles had on them. There's the old 35 that came out of the back. Goodbye. Still so have to put the calipers on this and tighten down the shackles. We took a leaf out of the rear springs to try to soften up the rear a little bit. It's really stiff and wasn't flexing that great. So with the new shackles that are about an inch, inch and a quarter longer, and taking a leaf out of the spring pack. It still sits level, so we're gonna see perhaps it'll flex better on the trail and ride a little better too. So 430 gears at the back, 427s in the front. It's gonna be an incredible difference coming from the 307 gears that he was working with before. And that's about it. This engine, by the way, just a quick overview. It's out of a late 90s Jeep Cherokee, a 4.0 high output with the AX15 out of the XJ as well. Mason swapped all that himself to make this a smooth running fuel injected, much more powerful 80s YJ. Thank y'all. Hope y'all are having a great year. We look forward to getting out and trail testing Mason's Jeep sometime soon. That'll be awesome. Y'all take care. See ya.